Hi, welcome to Japan Objects. My name is Billy Matsunaga and I am a professional kimono teacher living in Kumamoto, Japan. In this video, I am going to show you how to put on a kimono in six easy steps. This is the simplest way how to wear a kimono and it's perfect for you when you have never worn a kimono before. This is also the way how to put on a summer kimono, a so-called yukata, and this means you don't have any undergarment under it besides your underwear. So first, let's go over the items you need. First of all, you need two ties like this. There are special kimono ties like this out there, but if you don't have one, you don't need it. You could also use a ribbon like this one. This is just a normal ribbon. Just make sure it's not too slippery. And you need six feet or two meters and the width of it should be two inches or five centimeters. And the last item we need is a normal safety pin. So let's get started. Measure one third of one time. Take one third and put it on the center back seam 15 centimeters or 6 inches from the collar. Make sure that two thirds are to your left and one third is to your right. Pin it in place. This is my kimono underwear. I'm wearing a t-shirt with a big opening on the back and a wrapped skirt. You could also wear a tank top. Put the kimono on your shoulders and put your hands through the sleeves. Make sure that the folds on the collar meet. Take the collar 15 cm or 6 inches from the end, lift it and let it slide towards the floor until you have the length you want to wear your kimono. Bring the left side to your right and measure the width of the front skirt. You can easily change it by opening kimono up and sliding to the side. The perfect width should end right after your hip bone. Open the left side up, bring the right to your left and lift it about 10 cm or 4 inches. Tuck it with your elbow, remove wrinkles and bring your left side to your right. Lift it about 5 cm or 2 inches. Remove wrinkles. Take the first tie and place it right above your hip bones. Bring it to your back, cross it, pull to tighten and tie a half bow on the front by pulling one end through. Tuck the leftovers in. Make sure not to involve your second tie we've already pinned on the back of the kimono. Make a half bow by pulling one end through. And tuck the leftovers in. Put your pointer under the first tie and slide to the side to remove wrinkles. You have two layers of the tie on the front. Take the left side of the layer below and put it diagonally up. Take both layers on the right side and pull them down. Again, take the layer below on the left side, put it diagonally up and take both layers on the right side and pull them down just a little. Put your hands into the openings under your shoulders, slide down and then to the side. I'm showing you on top what I'm doing inside. I put my hands in, slide down and to the side. Slide to the front and push it gently down. Put your right hand into the top layer, cross your hands inside and slide to the side. Make sure that the folds on the collar meet, hold them with your right hand and your left hand reaches out to the center back seam. This is where you pull the back collar down and it should open up for about the size of your fist. I always measure with my hand when I don't have a mirror. 
First, adjust the right side of the collar to create a nice v-neck. Take the left side of the second tie from the back, put it into the opening under your shoulders, pull it through and secure the right side of the collar by wrapping it around your body and hold with your left hand while you adjust the left side of the collar. After you have created a nice v-neck, take the right side of the tie and make a half bow on top. Adjust the right collar, take the left side of the second tie, put it into the opening under your shoulder. Secure the right collar by wrapping the tie around your body. Hold it with your left hand while you adjust the left side of the collar. Take the right side of the tie when you find it, bring it to the front and tie another half bow on top. Tuck the leftovers in. Take the center back seam on the fold on your back and pull it down. Put your finger under the second tie and slide to the sides to straighten your back out. Also straighten your front out. And then you're all set. To cover the second tie, you could of course tie a Japanese obi, a belt for kimono. But in my case, I just used this ridiculously long piece of cloth. Tie a bow on the front, turn it round, and then I'm done. If you are interested in learning more about kimono fashion and styling tips from exports or to buy an authentic kimono like this, check out japanobjects.com and you can also find more kimono advice on my own YouTube channel Billy Matsunaga. Thank you so much for watching and look out for more kimono tutorials with Japan Objects. Bye!